Washington have launched a new project that could have revolutionary impact. This centers on studying endangered species that are difficult to track. Think our southern resident orca pods. I mean, they're right off of our coast, but actually finding them, it's kind of an imperfect science, at least for now. Carson's Madeline Audley has an inside look at how it works and what it could mean to Madeline. Our orca population has been struggling here for years, and they're not an easy species to track. Scientists at UW are hoping this new tool could help. On this quiet morning on San Juan Island, a, a team of researchers hopes to make history. We're pulling away from the anchor right now. If it works, they could revolutionize marine conservation. Oh, we can look at the some of the recordings. Oh, it looks like there's already a cut made. On this day, the team will lay two kilometers of fiber optic cable underwater, the same kind that carry internet signals. The goal, use them to track sounds of marine mammals like orcas. This technology has been around for a couple of years, but uh, it has been used for detecting low frequency signals like earthquake signals. We are trying to basically push the limit to see if we can use the sensing technology for detecting higher frequency ranges. If it works, scientists like lead researcher Dr. Shima Abadi could see how orcas respond to human activity and man-made noise and they can do it in real time. What's the impact of ship noise on them? What's the impact of other human activity? One of the biggest concerns, how these noises limit their ability to hunt. We'll drop it by the boulder. The southern resident orca population dramatically declined in the 60s and 70s. Wow. Now endangered, the Center for Whale Research has found no notable rebound in today's count. If this project helps fill the data gaps, researchers could expand it using the thousands of kilometers of underwater cables that already exist. And ultimately be able to tie that to how we as people are impacting the environment. And be able to notify ships when orcas are nearby. As an example, you can see the data that we are collecting in real time. Now they wait, listening for whales over the course of two years. We're really hopeful that this will be one part of the broader tool in the tool set um, that scientists, practitioners, and decision makers can use to better understand the environment, better understand our impacts. Madeline Ottilie, Cairo, 7 News. Amazon is